Hey everybody, today I'm going to walk you through how model selection works with Windsurf's Cascade. Let's get right into it. So here I'm in the Windsurf editor and we can see the Cascade pane on the right hand side. In the Cascade pane you'll notice that currently Claude 3.7 Sonnet is selected and is powering Cascade. If I click on the model name you'll notice the model picker pop up. This enables users to select from a variety of different models including premium and proprietary models. In general Users have access to a variety of different models. Users can even filter by provider to quickly find the model they're looking for. Here you can see models from the most common providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google. One of the providers you may have already noticed is actually Windsurf. We provide a couple of proprietary models that can be used to power Cascade. If you want to learn more about these models, be sure to check out our video on our SWE1 family of models. Now, for those users who want to conserve credits, we also provide the ability to filter by cost. If you run out of credits, don't worry, you can always use SWE 1 Lite free of cost. And of course, we continue to build with enterprises in mind. For this reason, we have enabled admin controls for models so organizations can restrict which models their users have access to. As an admin, all I need to do is head over to the web portal and turn them on or off like so. With Windsurf, you have control over which models can power Cascade. Be sure to try out different models to see what works best for your specific task. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy building.